All right, so this will do. So we just created, um, then I'm gonna go back to orbit tool so I can rotate. Also, you can zoom in, zoom out using your mouse on your, uh, using your scroll uh, mouse button on your mouse and uh, on the, or for those who doesn't have the scroll on the mouse, they can use zoom tool right here. And they can just select the tool and then holding left mouse of your button, zoom in and zoom out. Or on the touchpad on your laptop, holding the uh, button, zoom in, zoom out. Okay, so uh, as you can see, pretty much I created the holes. Now I'm going to create that hole right here. And please keep in mind that this video tutorial will be split uh, on YouTube into multiple parts. So go ahead, please watch them all. And please, um, if you like this video, uh, rate my high quality work so more people can see this this video tutorial as a free for you folks to learn and skill up all right so now I'm gonna make that hole right here and how I'm gonna do this well uh, it's pretty much uh, easy to do what I'm gonna do in the vertices again select the vertex I'm gonna select this line of vertices and I'm going to move like so okay as you can see because it's not in the middle it's a little bit on the side and now I'm going to have this polygon right here and when I'm gonna extrude it if I'm gonna look at from the uh, bottom and it's going to be this polygon right here those two when I'm gonna extrude this part, I'm gonna extrude every single polygon from the bottom, like those instead, and I'm I'm not going to touch those two. So it's gonna create again the whole same thing as we did on the sides. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select the polygons, and I'm gonna show you the real method how I'm selecting the polygons fast, so you don't have to go and select one by one. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use one of my viewports, I'm gonna go ahead and select polygons, and it's going to select the sides and the bottom at the same time, as you can see, right? But uh, I would like to select only uh, the bottom part. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and deselect the sides using my Alt key. My, you can see an icon, it's minus, and then with my left mouse button, I'm going to you know, select it and release it, and it's going to deselect. So it's going to select only the bottom part now. Fine. And then in the, my other viewport, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to deselect those two polygons right here. You can zoom in the way you want it. And now you can see they're deselected. So we're, as we um, agreed, we're going to uh, extrude um, anything from the bottom except those two polygons. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and click on Extrude. You're already familiar with Extrude. That's how we did uh, those holes. I'm going to click on that um, square on the Extrude called Settings. Okay, and it's going to Extrude. And um, yeah, I'm happy. I'm going to click OK. And um, let me see if I'm happy with that results. And yes, I am. So I'm going to keep it like so. Okay. So you can see the PCB is going to ready. We're going to work first with the PCB and then with the cover. So also, let me teach you how to quick, quick render it. Uh, you can render it by clicking F9. Select the, the viewport that you like. And by pressing F9 on your keyboard, Uh, all right. Yeah, it's okay. Um, 3D Max is going to go ahead and render it for you, like so. Okay. So, all right. So here we go, and um, we just learned how to quick render it with F9. First, you gotta select the viewport where you would like to have the quick render and then F9 and it's going to render it. 
otherwise you can go to render and click render make sure you select the viewport that you like rendering and render and it's going to render okay and that's that's pretty much it uh, we're almost done with our PCB except um, let me go ahead and click editable poly so I can move the whole uh, 3D model I'm gonna go ahead and select the select and move tool and move it so we're gonna see it better so except we need to create those T's uh, connection pins those T's how are we gonna do this uh, we're gonna learn how to to polygon how to subdivide and split it into mo and uh, yeah split it into multiple polygons and then extrude some of those polygons to create those T's so what I'm gonna do select those um, polygons and uh, quick select like so and deselect those so I'm just going to work only with those and let me go ahead and show it to you they're on the both sides make sure you select them on the both sides like I just did alright and I'm gonna create some T's but before that I need to tessellate or subdivide uh, my polygons and uh, what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go to tessellation and there is a box right here it's called settings make sure you're under the polygons you scroll it down and it's going to be option right here you're gonna click on that setting and um, we're gonna select the H and then we're gonna say by 6 we're gonna say OK and then if I'm going to deselect somewhere I'm gonna see that I have more polygons just more as you can see the more that I had before so basically just divide it and the, those three polygons divide it and create created some other polygons but it's not enough for the T's so I'm, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click Control Z to undo so it's gonna select all the all my polygons and I'm gonna tessellate again by 6 and let me check it out not enough I'm gonna Control Z again so I'm gonna select the polygons for me and I'm gonna tessellate again by 6 still not enough I'm going to control Z again so it's gonna select them I'm gonna tessellate again so three times by six alright so we got a bunch of polygons that's that's good that's what we're going to work with so now I'm going to go ahead and extrude some of those polygons to create a T's however you can create those T's by um, using the texture in the texture process but we're not gonna do so we're just going to create the T's like a 3D model on our 3D model so using the subdividing methods so what I'm gonna do I'm going to select um, the polygons that I'm going to work with okay I'm gonna just leave one open and two polygons will be selected so it's going to be our T's actually I'm going to go like this selected one deselected one selected one deselected one selected one deselected so I'm gonna make like bunch of T's like so that's my strategy make sure I'm gonna select where I need them and where we just did the tessellation where we subdividing our um, one selected one deselected over here I'm gonna two selected two this uh, one deselected two selected one deselected because we got to make sure it's the same size but we have more polygons over here the geometry was a little bit different when it's tessellated which is fine we're just going to make sure that 
Okay, Control Z. Okay, I didn't like the way it's selected over here, so I'm gonna with the Alt button, I'm gonna deselect them. I'm gonna go again, like so. And um, as again, I didn't like, I need to leave more space. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to again deselect with the Alt button those polygons. And um, I just did a mistake. Again, deselect. I just select the polygons that I need. And um, yeah, select it. Then I need to leave two instead of one because the different geometry is selected. And deselect this guy right here. So they're going to be even. Select it. Select it. Oops, did a mistake right there. Gonna go back and redo that. Make sure like so. And no polygons in here. All right. Deselect the polygons that we don't need to use. Okay. Sometimes it can go take some time. And please keep in mind this video tutorial will be if you're watching on a YouTube please watch all the parts and subscribe if you like to learn some more in 3D. I'm certainly going to release more video tutorials in the future. Okay. And not only in 3D but graphic design as well. I'm gonna show you some tricks and tips. So that's what we're gonna do, and then uh, I'm going to deselect the top part because I don't need that, and also I'm going to deselect that part right here, which let me show you, which is selected over here, and I don't need that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to deselect that using one of my uh, top view uh, viewport as the trick how you selecting and deselecting multiple polygons okay okay so we're, we're not trying to do you know crazy work over here we're just trying to do something recognizable and this is the basic tutorial and for you to get started and then you can go complex subdivision and stuff like this all right, so we just create, uh, we just go ahead and select them. Now we're going to go ahead and find, make sure we're on, on the polygons, extrude. We're going to extrude it by 5, which is fine. So it's going to bring that T's for us, and yeah, we have that T's. And if I'm going to zoom in, you're going to see those T's. And uh, if I'm going to go ahead and click F9, you're going to see the T's and it's going to be our pin connection we're just gonna make them a different color texture them a different color and we're gonna see them okay so, and always keep make sure when you're working with 3d max make sure you're saving constantly because uh, i'm gonna call it memory because um 3d max uh crashing a lot you know it's complex geometry and it's uh, crashing a lot so make sure you're saving your uh, project constantly alright so um, I just created the PCB and it's time to learn how to so our memory PCB is ready and let's go ahead and uh, texture this memory uh, stick and it's time to learn how to bring some colors to our model to our 3D model which is called texturing or bring some material in 3d max studio but in the 3d world it's called texturing by pressing m button 